Can you delete the universe? Well, quantum mechanics says no, but there may be a way to bend the rules, introducing the conservation of quantum information. First, what even is information? Ask a random person on the street and they'll say facts and knowledge, right? Quantum information is nothing palpable at first. We define quantum information as the position, properties, say momentum, and interactions, say arrangement, of a quantum particle like a proton or electron. So what is the conservation of information? And deleting the universe? If you had perfect knowledge of all the information in the universe, knowledge of every particle and wave, you could perfectly predict how the universe would change or evolve in the next instant of time, and in the next instant, and so on. This is determinism, and it's fundamental to almost every equation we have today. What about backwards in time? When a caterpillar dies, it gets cremated. So could I reconstruct the caterpillar from the ashes to save its life? Introducing time reversal symmetry. We can use the information we have in this instant to determine how something changed in all previous instances. Hence, by measuring the smoke and radiation, we could theoretically rebuild the caterpillar's body and bring it back. But there's a problem. If two independent species of caterpillars, stripy and spotty ones, became identical blue butterflies, how could I tell by looking at a blue butterfly if it came from a stripy or spotty caterpillar? Do caterpillars break time reversal symmetry? To solve this, we need unitarity. The quantum world is not a tangible place. Particles and waves are one. If you fired electrons through two slits like bullets from a gun, you'd expect the hits to be random. Yet an interference pattern is formed with alternating stripes of hits and misses, just like the pattern formed by light. We can use this pattern to calculate the probability that an electron will hit any given spot, with more hits meaning a greater probability and fewer hits meaning a lower probability. Unitarity dictates that by adding the probabilities for all possible outcomes, we must get one. Yet, the sum of the probability of a blue butterfly coming from both the stripy and spotty caterpillars is two, since they both have a probability of one to become a blue butterfly. This breaks unitarity and so cannot happen. Where does it go wrong? Introducing black holes, gravity so large that even light can't escape. When information goes into a black hole, it grows, suggesting that information has been taken in. But there's a problem. Black holes emit Hawking radiation, which is a bit like steam rising from a hot tea. The Hawking radiation leaving the black hole should contain information relating to whatever the black hole consumed. Yet we get a random fizz of information. So is information destroyed? This is called the information paradox. Since Hawking introduced this paradox, many possible solutions have come forth. The page curve, holograms, fuzzballs, quantum hairs and more. Or maybe our physics is flawed. The conservation of information is a simple idea with complicated applications and a paradox, but it is completely essential to physics as we know it. So I suppose we'll have to stick with it.